Now, automation, this is the first sort of step in our journey to sort of taking this from the standard service desk. Yeah, it does what it says it does. It's quite good. How can we start making it work a little bit better for us and working a, a bit harder for us, if you like? Um, but my chair is up there. Uh, I'm just going to go back into the back end. It's my, my settings for my, uh, my, my service desk project. Uh, and I was in this section before. Remember, these are all the new things. The one we haven't touched on really is automation. And this is a set of rules that let you enforce business process um, and it reduces double handling. These are where we start to think about how can we just sort of tighten this up a little bit just to start working for us uh, a little bit better. And the rules are uh, varied. And you can have things like transition and comment. So if it's in the state waiting for customer and the customer adds a comment in, automatically transition that back to waiting for support which will in turn start the clock counting again, rather than you noticing it and having to transfer it back yourself. Simple thing, but really, really good. Stops you having to go and double handle things. It means that you can actually have, when it comes back to uh, waiting for support, it can automatically come back in your queue. So you're going to see it straight away and you can start working on it. Uh, keep on top of SLAs. You know, if an SLA is about to breach, then email the supervisor or email the whole team and remind them. Or if the CEO opens a ticket, you know, tell me. I want to know about it. Make sure that they get the same service as everyone else. Um, you can also create custom rules, which is really, really useful. And custom rules let you do whatever you want. So you pick a trigger when this thing happens, when an issue creates, when it moves into this state, when the SLA is about to breach. You can add some if things. And then you can add actions. Then email someone. Uh, in the cloud version, actually, you can now, and I assume coming to the server, uh, you can do webhooks. So you know, if this is about to happen, then text me or text the person. Um, link it into, we use um, a couple of kind of third party things. Um, if this, then that, you might have heard of, and Zapier. They're little kind of bot things where you can set up webhooks. Um, and we do all sorts of stuff. We've got it linked to our Salesforce system. So when a job comes in in Salesforce, it automatically creates the issue in, in Jira and, and links through and, and does all sorts of stuff. So um, it's really easy to set up. It's just thinking, knowing that it's possible, and actually thinking about how you would start it. Yeah. 